I continue speaking about the illusory nature of the reality. So when the darkness comes over, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is the end of the world. It is just a phase. Depression is just a, a phase. Sadness, darkness, night is just a phase. Winter is just a phase. Take it easy, accept it. It is a natural state. If you are sad and depressed, it means that you are alive, everything is all right, you are doing a good job. So first thing, first thing is to accept, to embrace, incorporate, understand. Next thing is to shrink. To minimize yourself to the size of your flame. So depression is when your flame flickers, when it becomes smaller. But as long as you are alive, there is still some flame. So protecting the borders which are bigger is harder. Ancient strategists, warriors knew really well that you cannot stretch your empire too big. The size of your border should correspond to the size of your army. So if your army becomes small, so you have to shrink your borders. Until now you might have taken care of many things in your life. But there is a time when you need to shrink your borders, sometimes to the size of your body, sometimes even smaller. It can be very, very tiny, but there is still you there. So finding that yourself, finding that you is essential. So shrink and find where you are. Collect your resources, collect your composure, collect your understanding of your path. Collect who you are and discard what you are not. So depression, sadness, night, winter are perfect times for discarding the outdated stuff. You are evolving and each new depression, each new sadness, each new night finds you on a new level. What makes you sad now is not what was making you sad a long time ago. You are evolving. You are evolving. So I congratulate you to arrive into this place. You are evolving. It is a new challenge, a new stage, a new step. A new twist of the spiral. As you find yourself, invite help. The help of friends, family, spirits, God, elementals, angels, aliens, strangers. 
often it is almost impossible to recover yourself alone but it's very easy to recover with the help of a friend even of a stranger it is a strange world of, du of duality where a unity is separated into multiple personalities and multiple people and you don't often almost always are not sufficient to solve a problem to find a solution to find a healing you are forced to ask for help you are forced to unite with others to get healed recovered inspired energized helped and on the other hand even with a perfect friend perfect mate perfect partner it's impossible to unite with them completely it, impo it is impossible to become one body you are still separated even if you hug very tightly you are still two separate beings two separate bodies two separate consciousnesses in this illusion in this world of illusion we are forced to stay separate the spirits can unite the bodies cannot you can hug your lover but you still cannot penetrate it cannot become one cannot unite into one body it's kind of funny to desire that but it's tragic when you look look at that from spirit perspective for the lifetime you are destined to search for unity search for completeness and forever in this body you will be in incomplete so accept it as is by design and take it easy You come here for a purpose and the whole life you're looking for this purpose and for a period for a moment you might find it but it's also elusive also escaping also disappearing so keep catching it keep following it keep manifesting it and if there is no purpose given to you choose one find one try several purposes for yourself one at a time many at a time and see what harmonizes well what resonates well with you pray for a purpose ask for a purpose to be given and actively search for a purpose often one sad person helps another sad person and both become enlightened one desperate person helps another desperate person and both become enlightened and this help doesn't have to be material it can be just help of compassion empathy friendship so i know really well how hard it is to step out of the home when you are sad and to approach other people maybe it will take a week to assemble yourself to get the energy to get the confidence hope and maybe when you approach the door you wouldn't be able to open it so take it easy some people easily speak to strangers and others don't use every excuse to speak to strangers when it is safe on the bus station on the gas station in the store on the street at random speak to people say hi prepare in advance some excuses what to speak about 
people don't like to be surprised. Many people don't like to be surprised. But there is always something nice to speak to, to say to others. So practice that. Many people who are passing by are sent to you for your good, to help you. Even more, everyone is capable of helping you and when you step forward, they will step towards you and then you can create that situation of help. Of course, there are evil people or depressed people, angry people, hopeless people. So use your judgment. But not trying is more dangerous than trying. Facebook is an easy way to communicate to people. Strangers become connected and start a conversation. So be open to those conversations and try to help. Some people just want to be listened to. So some people just want your ear. That's one of the easiest help you can give them. Just listen to other people. And when they ask for help, just give them their compassion. That's all. So when the wave drags you down, when the depression, wave, wind, sadness, gravity drags you down, grasp on what you can grasp. Hold on to things. Don't slide down. Just stay in the place. And wait for the wave, wind, fortune to go your way and help you. Sometimes it takes short time, sometimes it takes, it takes a longer time, but usually, usually there is something good coming your way. You just have to hold long enough and be ready for the help to, to arrive. And when it arrives, recognize it. Yes, when it arrives, recognize it. Be ready to recognize. Be ready for a helper to come your way and bring you help. I guess that is the most essential. Don't lose hope and always wait for the helper to come and arrive and give you help. It could be a human, an animal, a spirit, an alien, an angel, anything. Sometimes you yourself can help. Just wait for the right moment and be ready to spring into action. Watch your thoughts, watch your words. Stay positive no matter what. Stay positive no, no matter what. Speak nice things. Think, think nice things. Be aware of negativity which is in, within you, habitual negativity, habitual pessimism. You can't be practical without being pessimistic. You see things as they are, describe them as they are, but always end up on a positive note. Even if you are dying, that is still positivity, it's just living the body. It is just living the body. For the spirit, it is a completion and a point of return home. So take it easy. There is nothing, nothing tragic here. Everything is tragic and nothing tragic. Take an enlightened view and see the positive side of the creation. See the beauty. Yes, see the beauty in this. Om Maya Na Om Maya Na Om Maya Na Ora Na Om Maya Na Ya Na Om Repeat after me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Mother. Thank you, the universe, for this experience. Thank you, the universe, for this life. I accept things as they are. 
Divine Mother, I am you. I am made of your energy. I am hopeful. I am faithful. I appreciate your beauty. And I appreciate my beauty. Send me some help, I'm ready for it. Thank you for bringing me to this point. I invite your help. I invite helpers. And I'm ready for this help and for these helpers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Ammaya hanna hanna hama hora hanna iya Ummahan Arumahan hama Ummahan Anahan Anahaya hanna hora Anahan Anahaya hanna Ummahan Rama Huram Rama Huram Aya 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 Hanna Oma Hanna Oma With that I conclude. Have a good day.